Capitol Reef National Monument was established in 1937 and became a national park in 1971. Today, millions of visitors from around the world marvel at the majesty of the Colorado Plateau, the water pocket fold, and the rich natural and cultural features preserved for future generations. We hiked to Gooseneck Point. We're 800 feet below the Sulphur Creek, which is, is a tributary of the Colorado River. The canyon's tight curves are known as goosenecks. The landmark known as the castle is made of fractured Wingate sandstone. In Fruta, we purchased pie at the Gifford House. In the 1880s, Mormons established the small settlement of Fruta at the confluence of the Fremont River and Sulphur Creek. They built irrigation systems to water orchards and pastures and sustained a self-reliant agricultural lifestyle for decades. Family intended the apple, peach, pear, and apricot trees. The park maintains the orchard, schoolhouse, blacksmith shop, and Gifford house as reminders of pioneer times. This massive Fremont cottonwood tree, starting in 1918, was known as the mail tree. It was the place where mail was transferred from a carrier in Torrey to another carrier who continued downriver. Later, mailboxes were attached to the tree, giving the settlers a convenient location from which to maintain contact with the outside world. Built in 1896, this one-room schoolhouse was Fruta's only public structure. Besides school, it served as church meeting house and community center. Carvings and paintings on rock walls are reminders of the people who lived here from about 300 to 1300 Common Era, and even earlier. They were ancestors of the modern-day Hopi, Sunni, and Paiute tribes. Capitol Dome reminded early travelers of the U.S. Capitol building and later inspired the name of the park. We then traveled back to our campground where we were able to watch the incoming rain.